In today's economic environment, small industrial carts are used to perform a wide variety of tasks. These carts are commonly known as golf carts, industrial carts, service carts, electric trucks, or other names. Safety is the common thread among these carts, no matter what they're called. The critical part of safety is the fact that anyone can operate these electric carts without much training. And therein lies the problem. They're too easy to operate, so many drivers just don't pay much attention to safety. They just hop on and off they go. This short program is designed to outline some of the safety responsibilities and provide information about golf cart safety. Certainly you're interested in the industrial applications of the golf cart, but we'll throw in some golf course safety as well for those golfers and the maintenance persons who operate golf carts in their routine jobs. Carts must be maintained in good physical condition with good brakes and no sharp edges on the cart that could cause an injury. A written cart maintenance checklist should be maintained on each cart and completed each day. This serves as documentation that maintenance was provided. Safety in operating decals and instruction should be prominently displayed at all times on each cart. Although there are no established requirements, it's recommended that operators should be 18 years of age or older. Don't leave carts in congested areas. When storing golf carts, make sure they're secured. If they're inside the building, make sure they're locked. And if stored outside, attach a cable through the cart bumpers for security. Keys should always be removed to a secure area when the cart is not in use. Golf carts should only be operated from the driver's side. Never drive with more than two occupants or allow riders on the back of the cart. Be sure your passenger is fully seated and check for obstacles before moving. Keep your entire body, particularly your feet and legs, inside the cart when moving. Be certain to set the brake when coming to a complete stop and you're going to exit the vehicle. Use extra care when operating a golf cart in reverse or on hills, wet surfaces, loose surfaces, or rough terrain. Remove the key when the golf cart is not in use. Of course, never operate any vehicle when impaired by alcohol or drugs. In the event of inclement weather, seek appropriate shelter if lightning is present, as golf carts don't provide protection from lightning. How about seat belts in these carts? Can you operate them on the roads or highways? Should they be licensed? Do you need a driver's license to use them? The push is on for environmental friendly transportation and there are now many manufacturers who will be developing and selling these vehicles. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration classifies four-wheeled motor vehicles with top speeds of 20 to 25 miles an hour as low speed vehicles. Golf carts as presently manufactured have a top speed of less than 20 miles an hour so they're not in the low speed vehicle classification. Electric carts that can reach 20 to 25 miles an hour or more fall under the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards. This means they have to be equipped with lights, turn signals, and seat belts, plus many other requirements. Okay, let's go back to reality. Your organization is responsible for setting the safety rules, operating procedures, and making sure all golf cart operators are sufficiently trained and certified to operate the vehicle. Licenses are not required, nor are there any particular certification processes established. However, it's highly recommended that a training program be conducted and that operators are trained and authorized by your company to operate the vehicle safely. Wearing a seat belt is your company's responsibility, but it's not required. The vast majority of golf carts run on electricity supplied by several batteries. One of the most important responsibilities is the care and maintenance of these batteries. There's a major safety factor when using, handling, or charging batteries. During charging of batteries on electric golf carts, hydrogen gas is emitted, and it's extremely flammable. Now, don't allow smoking anywhere near charging batteries, and post no smoking signs so everyone's aware of the no smoking rule. Make sure there's good outside exhaust ventilation from the charging area and no open flames or smoking allowed near the filling area for gasoline-powered carts. Lead acid storage batteries don't store electrical power. Instead, the battery is a chemical machine that produces power on demand. The typical battery has a number of individual cells containing layers of lead plates immersed in sulfuric acid. When sulfuric acid contacts the lead plate inside the cell, energy is produced. During charging, flammable hydrogen and oxygen gases are formed. Most of these gases eventually bond together to form water, which is then lost through the battery vents. The main battery terminals are the positive and negative posts. The battery may also have vent caps on top of it. These caps serve two purposes. They permit the checking and maintenance of water and acid levels and provide a vent for the escape of gases formed when the battery is charging. Manufacturers have also developed low maintenance and maintenance free batteries. 
These produce less explosive gas and effectively eliminate your exposure to chemical burns during maintenance. When a battery is being charged, electrical power surges through the acid, generating hydrogen and oxygen. This explosive gas mixture seeps out of vents and can be ignited by a flame or spark. Now, here are a few safety tips recommended by battery manufacturers. Keep sparks and flames away from the battery. Inspect the battery in natural light. Remove wristwatches, which might make electrical contact and create sparks. Protect eyes, face, and body from acid. Eyes are vulnerable to exploding batteries, so wear safety goggles and a face shield when inspecting or cleaning the battery. If acid does enter the eye, immediately flood with running water for at least 30 minutes. See a doctor as soon as possible. If acid contacts the skin, wash the affected area immediately with plenty of water. Avoid chemical burns by not rubbing eyes or skin while working with a battery. Wash hands immediately after completing the job. Clean up all acid spills and flush clothing with a water and baking soda solution. Make sure vent caps are tight and are properly placed on the vent posts. Placing a damp cloth over vent caps acts as a flame arrester. Some maintenance-free batteries may not have the vent caps. The vent caps on top of a battery are designed to help keep the acid electrolyte within the battery and keep dirt out. The vent caps should always be kept firmly in place. When an electrolyte runs out of a battery, it can cause corrosion of the terminals and cables, reducing battery function. Keep the top of the battery clean and free of corrosion by periodically washing the battery with a solution of one quarter cup baking soda to a bucket of water. After washing or scraping off all corrosion deposits, coat the metal parts with thick terminal grease compound. Inspect the vent caps for proper functioning. Always wear acid resistant gloves and long sleeves when cleaning batteries, avoiding any splashing of debris or acid into the face and eyes. Don't make live connections directly to the battery. A match, incorrect connection of battery cables, and careless use of tools around the battery can set off explosive gases. Use proper lifting techniques when moving batteries. Batteries are small but heavy and awkward to lift. Back, shoulder, and arm injuries are avoidable by using a battery carrying strap and using proper safe lifting procedures. Service carts have the same basic operating rules and safety precautions as do golf cart vehicles. Some are higher off the ground than others, so this tells you they can tip over much easier. As you can see, there are a variety of uses for golf or industrial carts. No matter the use, whether it's for pleasure or work, it's your responsibility to make sure they're operated in a safe and professional manner. They're easy to use, but they're also very easy to tip over, lose control, or the brakes may not stop you as fast as you think they can. The best advice is to follow your company's operating rules and take the time to operate them in a safe manner. Thank you.